Aries, I celebrate you Aries, a warm welcome to you to Jamaican Scorpio Tarot. I am Scorpio, but I welcome all signs here. Aries, I am new, fresh off the block, fresh kid on the block here. So I'm asking you for a subscribe and a like so I can start building my family on here. And I'd love you to be a part of the family. Aries, I'm going to be doing your forecast for November 2023 to give you some insight of, of what's coming so you can prepare for it. So there's no surprises for you around the corner. I'm going to start off with a major for you because that's a tradition I'm establishing here to see what will be major for the month of November for you, Aries. So glad you're here, Aries. Emperors. Empresses, kings and queens. I hope you have a good reading tonight. The I just got judgment as one of the major four Scorpio just now. It's two fell out, so we took that. But there you go. You have the judgment also. So coming for November, you have to look out for any little thing that's going on that is in your life that you don't want to be there. Time to get rid of the clutter, the mess. Some of you have been planning all year to start minimizing, minimalizing your life, start budgeting, start um, getting things together, and you haven't been doing it because you've been overwhelmed, you're stuck at work, you're stuck with doing this and that, it's always something else. So you haven't taken time to really check that list, that New Year's resolution you made from early this year and haven't gotten around to it. So now is the time, especially when it comes to cleaning out things, whether it's clutter in your home, whether it's your closet, whether it is your finances you need to clean up and get rid of some um, extras, uh, extra bills that you're paying that you you know it's not necessary and so on. Whatever cleanup you need to do, people that are not right for your life, you wanna get rid of them, get rid of them. Friends that are toxic, gossipers, haters, all of the people that on your social media that you don't even like and don't like you, get rid of all of that trash. So judgment coming for November for you, Aries. And it's in a good way because it gives you time to clean up all the mess. And don't be too set hard on yourself, right? Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> okay, because self-criticism, self-analysis is fine, but don't, don't love yourself embrace yourself the good the bad the medium the uh, whatever it is we have all the light and the dark and we have to embrace both together and understand how to balance that so embrace all of you just make sure you're taking the care of business here i'm going to start aries by pulling two from about two different cards from about three different decks okay to give you insight of what's to come in november so angel excel for aries my fire sign Aries that I love so dearly. There you go. I have Aries in my family and I love me some Aries. So let's get started. Your first card is Page of Pentacles. All right. So this is telling me that you, you have some money coming in in November. You've been manifesting, you've been working hard, you've been trying to hustle, you've been trying to build up some plans social media wise that you want to come through, get some extra funds on. Your coins is coming in for you in November. Expect it. Continue working, continue putting in the time. The reaping time is coming for you in November, okay? Stability um you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay so that means you're working on your finances and that's a good thing aries because you know survival half is a thing all right survival is a thing inflation is i hey there you go here you go so you have to take care of business oh my gosh the three of swords Ooh, ooh, Aries in November. Wow. All right. For those of you who are in a current relationship, work on any problems you have now as a foresight into this so that you can prevent this, so that you can navigate your way around it. For those of you who are in a situationship 
and you know things not right. The heartbreak is inevitable because things are not right. If it's not a long-term established relationship where things are solid between you two, things are going to shake themselves up for November. Expect it. Because when you expect something and it happens, it's not a surprise for you and you're dealing with it better and you heal faster because you are aware of other people's intentions. If it is you that's going to break somebody's heart, Aries, mm -mm, mm -mm. we're going to be on one side of the fence or another. So at the end of the day, if it happens, shoo. It happens to the best of us, okay? Me included. But what happened is be responsible enough to let them down slowly or especially if it's someone who love you and care about you and show you that they wanted something with you, do it in a way where it, it well, heartbreak is heartbreak and the pain is, <laughs> the pain is going to be hard no matter what, but in a respectful manner where they feel like you have uh, justified it, right? Because judgment will come in November where you have to be right. Be on the right side of things and do things right. Things that you're planning to do, do it the right way. Let's see what else come up for you, Aries, for November. Do it the right way, okay? Because if you're not happy, you shouldn't stay in any situation that you're not happy. Both of them come out at one time. You re oh my gosh, judgment again, judgment twice. Oh my gosh, Aries, whatever is going on, you know it. You know whatever is going on. You have it again, Aries. You have the judgment double up on you. So this is telling me in November, you need to clean house. And I don't mean physically mopping and wiping down and dusting and all of that. Yes, that too. But, you know, you got that on the check already. Clean house as in people that are around you that don't need to be in your company no way. Family, that's just too much. Too many years of really coping with family members that you should have just put out of your life, put aside, forget them and move on. But you're still struggling with it because it's blood. Well... Let me tell you something. You can form a family and a bond outside of blood. So it's who love you and respect you and respect your boundaries and um, are helpful in your life. Those are the ones that you put out effort in maintaining a long-term relationship with. The ones that are doing any opposite of that, it's a no-no. Judgment is that you need to clear the air. Be truthful to yourself and to others Make sure you're on the right side of the fence because what goes around comes around full circle and it's going to come back double. And you don't want to be on the wrong side of the fence when judgment comes, right? Make sure too that if you have multiple partners that you're trying to choose between that you do the right thing. Because see, heartbreak is here. Do the right thing. You're going to make a choice. Somebody's heart is going to be broken. But at least you're saying, you know what, it's time for me to choose and not play and mess around anymore. So somebody's going to get cut anyway. But just do it in a respectful way. Here is the next one. Ten of Swords. Aries. For November 2023, button down. Prepare. I'm telling you this. You are warned. Be prepared for November 2023. A lot of little messy things and unfinished things need to be cleared up and tied up in order to prevent harm or hurt or pain. Because you have some backstabbers in your life that you need to get rid of. I don't care if it's blood as I say. But if it's not blood and it's just friends, ooh, you can get new friends. You can go socialize. If it is co-workers that's on your mind bothering you, if it's people on your social. You know, we have love to have a lot of friends on social that really bothers us and nag us and irritate us. And we still keep us friends and we still follow them and we still check the pages and we still uh, connivingly comment or we make comments that's not really, you know, 
truthful or genuine. Stop all of that. Cut it out. They don't even care. Just move on. Okay? All right? And not only that, um, you have some backstabbers in your life. You're going to end the cycle of all of this that's going on for November. Everything will come to an end, a completion, a renewal, and a first start for you, okay? So all of the rotten things that's happening now will, will pass. So I'm going to give you two more cards from another deck. And let's tie this up for you, Aries. Let's tie this up for you. All right, Angel Excel. What is coming for Aries in the month of November? Aries, whether it's love, money, <laughs> betrayal, lies, goodbyes. Another one coming out. All right. Whatever the angel self is going to reveal for you, that's what we're going to pay attention to. So um, here's what to expect. Seven of Pentacles. So you're going to expect that as also Princess of Cups. Boy. So you have the page of... Oh, okay. You have the page of Pentacles and the page of Cups. Now things are seeming brighter. Mm -mm. To the rescue. Here I am. Yes. This is rescuing you. This is showing me that things are going to get better. So the worst is about to finish. You need to tie up some loose ends. And then things will get better. Things will start turning over for you. So you're working on your money for sure. Right? Don't let anything distract you from that. Your coins is important because it's a part of living and you need that. Make sure you're saving. You're working hard enough. You have more than enough is saved. Don't be boastful and give it all away and then leave yourself out in the cold. The colder months are coming, so it can be literal. Don't leave yourself out and then get out in the cold, right? Now, whew, if you're open to love, it is coming for you in the month of November 2023. So you can expect that if you're already in a relationship, there will be some renewal. That means anything idiotic, anything messy, anything that's going on that is not good for your relationship. You need to cut it out, sit down and have a conversation, have a renewal of mine, renew your commitment, get clear on where they stand and be clear on where you're standing. Assert yourself. Um, get yourself in a position where you establish some boundaries and make sure those are not broken. Make sure they're followed. Make sure they're respected. So for November, once you put those in effect, you will be fine. I'm going to pull some um, Oracle for you too. Aries. And see what's in the making for the month of November for you for love. Woo I like it. I like it. So you have love and money coming in November. Woo, 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 woo. You have yin. I'm coming. I'm coming. The fact that you have you have love coming. You're gonna get the yin to your yang. 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 You're, you're, you're going to get the yin to your yang. So you've been waiting on love. It's coming. All right. And for those of you who already established, renew your love, man. And make some changes that the end of the year will flow. Ooh, the, you see what I mean? First of all, your yin to your yang is coming in. Your yin to your yang is coming in. That means you are going to be meeting your soulmate right in November of 2023 and it's going to be through some unexpected events or some outing or through friends or family and then finally you'll get the peace you're looking for the peace of mind the peace in your home the peace in your heart the relaxation you desire the purity of your heart is already there but you have to put that in motion by 
getting rid of the extras that don't belong there because you cannot have the purity just muddling up with the mud and the mess and the nasties. So get rid of all of that. Aries for November 2023, things are going to turn around. Everything is closing out right now. So don't worry about the backstabbing and the mess. You're going to get rid of that. Judgment will come to those who have done you wrong and who you've been waiting on for them to get the karma. Sometimes you're looking out and you're like, oh my gosh, the way you do me dirty, you how the heck you don't get karma yet? Judgment is coming for those people too. So don't worry about taking revenge or avenging yourself or none of that. <laughs> Universe taking care of that for you, okay? God got you. So your peace of mind is coming. And the one that's coming in your life is going to bring you peace. You're going to be settled. Your heart is going to be right. They're going to be right for you. They're not having any bad intentions towards you. They're not coming in with the lies and the mess. They're not coming in insecure. They're coming in prepared and ready for you and love and what you have to offer. So make sure you are preparing yourself to be able to offer the same. So much love and respect to you, Aries. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build my family here. I love you, Aries. And I, am, I, I have Aries in my family. I already know, I already know. Plus, I have special love in my heart for Aries. I don't know what to tell you, but that's the most I'm going to say, okay? So have a beautiful one. Subscribe, share the video for me. I appreciate you being here. Emperors, empresses, kings and queens, enough respect. Big up to you all, okay? Big up yourself.